Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com and in this short tutorial I'm going to show you a little bit about a, an Estes model rocket. It's called the Wizard and this one's a real easy beginner rocket. And I wanted to show you, I got the kit here. It doesn't cost much, only a few dollars. You can get it from Amazon.com and a lot of other places. And uh, the thing about this kit is it's a nice introduction to making your own rockets, to making rockets the way uh, the common way they're made. I just want to show you there's just a few pieces here. All right, you've got the rocket tube and the nose cone, the, the engine mount, and I'll show you more about that engine mount. The, uh, there's no parachute, there's a streamer with this one, a little bit more to go with the engine mount and the, and the fins. So if you want to get started or if you have a, a young one that you think wants to make a model rocket, the Wizard's a nice little rocket, a nice... Hmm, the Wizard's a nice way to go because it's real easy and you can put it together pretty quickly. I'm going to actually use this rocket to do something a little bit special and I'll show you a little bit more about that. Right now it's a secret, <laughs> but uh, you'll see what I'm going to do with this rocket. The first thing you do is you check your nose cone, the two pieces of the nose cone, and make sure they fit together well. Trim any plastic on this that you need to. And then you apply a little bit of plastic uh, cement. This is the only thing that you have to actually cement here. It's a little bit of a hassle if you don't have this rubber cement, but you could try regular cement, but I don't recommend it. Use actual plastic cement like you use on models and cement that piece right in there. Now use an X-Acto knife to cut out your fins like this. You can see where the shapes of the fins are. And you have to be real careful with this. Do a really nice job cutting those out. Turn it over, cut it some more. And be careful because it's easy to break this and break a fin where you don't want it to break. Next, you take your three fins and you stack them up together like this and then you sand them on a sheet of sandpaper you get any of the imperfections off the edges get rid of those um, cut marks and whatnot sand all the edges and the important thing about this is <clears throat> this will ensure that they all end up to be the same exact size and aerodynamically that's important you want your fins to be the exactly same, the exact same size, so the rocket will fly straight. Now I have three extra fins here, and that's because I'm doing something special with this rocket—a little something extra—and I'll be showing you that. So I'm going to just uh, sand all six of these fins together. I made these three extra fins; didn't come with the kit. I made these out of balsa wood. Now, using a ruler, make a little mark three eighths of an inch from the end of the tube where each fin is going to go. You have those three fin lines that you made. You just mark three eighths of an inch for each one. That's where the fin will sit. Now, take your engine mount tube here and make a mark on it that's six millimeters from one end. And, uh, your instructions has a nice scale here so you can use that to make your six millimeter mark. Now get yourself a little scrap of wood here. I'm using a fin scrap and mark it at two inches. And this is kind of funny, but what you do is you take some glue and you put that on the end there. And then you take that and you put it inside your tube and apply the glue at the two inch mark. See, so what's happening here is glue is being applied here, right here at this and what's happening here is glue is being applied here at the two inch mark on the inside. So you take it, put glue on the end here, put it in there up to two inches, and then apply the glue. So you and push that in as far as this line goes. There you go. Now this, that green ring is there, is right where the glue is. And take that back out. Now that green ring, I don't know if you can see that, is glued inside there at, two, at about two inches. Now applying the fins can be kind of tricky, but let me show you how to do this. I put a little bit, of, I put a line of glue on this fin, like that. Now I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it right on there where it's supposed to be. 
press it for a sec. See it? But then I'm going to take it off. Now that's got some glue on there. I've got some glue on here. But now I'm going to apply another layer of glue to this. See, the, the trick about this is you don't glue it right away. You let that glue sit a little bit. So, I apply that glue on there. Now I've got another coat. And I'll let that sit for a little bit. Let it get a little tacky. And then, now that's tacky and... And the line that I already put on this tube is tacky, so when I put it on here, it's going to stick really nice. So, nice and straight. And that'll hold really well. So, and afterwards, you're going to let that dry. You're going to go ahead and do all three of them. And keep that fin nice and straight, as straight as you can, because that's important for the aerodynamics. And once that dries, you can I, I put a little bit more glue on it. Once it dries, I put even a little bit more glue on it. So there's no hurry, there's no hurry here. I'm gonna put that down like that, right on my ruler. You can use two pencils or something to hold it up straight and let it set, and then go on to the next fin. And there's a nice chart here on the paperwork. You see this? You can place your rocket on here. It'll show you. While the three fins go. And then when you're done, done with all three of them, you place it like this on a surface so it dries. I mean, there's no hurry for me to um, do one fin at a time, let it sit for a little while so it doesn't interfere with the other fins, and then move on to the other two fins, the second fin, and then finally the third fin.